Well, we have just been given our marching orders to go to Niger and convey the feelings of the our heads of states in the ECOWAS region that they are not happy with what has happened and they gave them an ultimatum that uh, the coup peace should uh, desist from what they are doing and give back power to an elected president. And uh, again, to make sure that uh, uh, this message is sent uh, loud and clear to them. So that's what we are here for. What the authority of heads of state and government have done so far? What's uh, your assessment of this? Well, so far, we, we are going there to see and convey this message to them, and then we'll listen to them. And then we come back and report back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, uh, of course, you are aware of uh, the events in Niger, uh, which the ECOWAS, under the chairmanship of President Bola Tinubu, have addressed. And they've taken certain decisions regarding how to address the um, challenge in Niger. Of course, this kind of situation requires um, solidarity. It requires coordination with all uh, parties um, that could bring uh, that are relevant to the situation. In that regard, as you know, Libya and Algeria are also very important neighbors of Niger. So um, um, my mission is to go there with a message from President Tinubu to, and to brief them on the ECOWAS position and solicit their solidarity and cooperation. Okay. You want to quickly say yeah. something about uh, the steps that uh, the authority of heads of state and yeah. government yeah. under the leadership of President Tinubu yeah. has, has taken so far? The, the steps that uh, they have taken so the, far regarding um, this? Well, the, as you can see, they are carefully calibrated measures. They are not meant to be punitive, they are meant to really encourage the Niger authorities to rethink their position and retrace their steps. Um, and they are escalating, you know, sort of degree by degree, hoping, hoping always to find diplomatic solution. And uh, that is the commitment of the uh, ECOWAS heads of state. And that's why all these diplomatic activities are uh, being uh, redoubled apace. We hope to find a diplomatic solution. Nobody wants to go to war, and especially with neighborly, uh, brotherly peoples um, across the border with whom we share common language, common culture, common religion. Yeah. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Thank you.